I just saw 12 Years a Slave and I bawled my eyes out. And when I mentioned this to my mom, she said, well, I didn't cry when I saw that movie. And I said, well, I'm sorry that you're heartless. Hi everyone, I'm Robert Rivera and this is On The Cheap Tip. Now in recent times, more and more people are dating online and I may have dabbled in online dating myself. And my biggest pet peeve are people who don't know how to fill out their profiles. So I decided I wanted to show you the do's and don'ts of online dating. And hopefully it'll lead to some wedding bells. Either that or just get you laid. Now in filling out the About Me section, don't write your life story. It all began on the night that I was conceived. My mother had an itch, and my father knew just how to cure it. Ain't nobody got time to be reading your autobiography. Keep it short and simple. Try to stay away from quoting songs. I woke up like this. I woke up like this. Flawless. And that's just cheesy. Try to use a picture that is recent of what you look like now, not the version of you 10 years ago. If someone shows up on a date and they look 10 years older than their picture, um, I consider that a catfish. I'm sorry that time was not on your side. Maybe you should follow some of my skincare tips. Now faceless profile pictures are pointless and annoying. It's like someone walking up to you in a bar with a bag on their head. Hey there, I couldn't help notice you from across the bar, and I find you extremely attractive. Would you like to go on a date? Uh, no. And then when they finally do give you a picture, it's like the scariest thing you've ever seen in your life. Hey there. Please put the bag back on your head. Now you should be the only person in your profile picture. Having multiple people, like your friends and family, just leads to confusion. Because I may like someone in the picture, and it may not be you. Oh, the boy on the left is really cute. I hope that it's him. Please be the boy on the left. Please be the boy on the left. Please be the boy on the left. Oh, it's not the boy on the left. It's like throwing the dice, you know? You're hoping for a big win and then snake eyes. Now, it's okay to be a little flirty, but try not to be overtly sexual. Uh, if you're too sexual, people are just going to treat you like a piece of ass. Unless you want that sort of thing. Then go for it. And when filling out your profile, try not to sound too desperate. I've been looking for love everywhere. I've had so much heartache, and I really just think that this is my last resort to find love. So if you're looking for love, please date me. Please write me. Please message me. Please date me. Somebody date me. Anybody date me. Please, please date me. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> I tell ya, I give you guys some quality dating advice. And yet, I'm still single. And now on to- <clears throat> That was weird. And now on to our tip, which is a- yeah. And now on to our tip, which is an avocado face mask. So let's get started. It's gonna be green. The first ingredient that you're going to get is an avocado, of course. And avocados contain vitamin E, which helps fight wrinkles. They have vitamin C, which helps brighten the skin, has lots of antioxidants, which are going to help fight free radicals. And they contain a lot of fatty acids, which are going to help moisturize your skin. And what you're going to do is get about a... I forgot. <laughs> get about a tablespoon and a half of avocado and put it into a bowl. I always get gassy when I do these videos, I don't know why. The next ingredient that you're going to get is plain yogurt. Now yogurt is really great for the skin because it has lots of vitamins and minerals, such as vitamin B's, which are going to help brighten and... something your skin. Uh, make it better? I don't know. <laughs> I'm reaching for some words now. <laughs> it has the vitamin B's in it that are going to help brighten dull skin, lighten dark spots, and lighten acne scars. It also contains lactic acid, which is going to help exfoliate any of the dead skin cells, and lots of lubricating fats to help moisturize your skin. And what you're going to do is get a teaspoon of some yogurt. <laughs> get a teaspoon of yogurt and put it into your mixture. 
The last ingredient that you're going to get is olive oil. Good old olive oil is back. Now, olive oil is not only a moisturizer and a cleanser, but it has tons of vitamin E, which is going to help fight the aging process and fight the wrinkles on our face. And what you're going to do is get a teaspoon of olive oil and put it into your mixture. And my dog is barking. I don't know why. Once you're done adding all your ingredients, you're going to mix it very well and then smash it and smash it down into a nice creamy paste where it looks kind of like guacamole. And then you're going to wash your face. Then you're going to add your mask to your face and neck in nice circular motions, steering clear of your eye area. And then you're going to leave this on for 15 minutes and rinse it off. So I just rinsed off my mask and I have to tell you, I think this is my new favorite mask. Not only does it moisturize and condition your skin, but it also has this cooling sensation as you wear it and it just feels amazing. So that's my whole tip and I hope that you liked it. Make sure that you comment down below, like this video and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you all next Monday for another great tip. Bye!